Hey guys, MB here from Nightcore Singapore. Now, Nightcore finally launched their second LEP like the P40 here with a beam that hits up to 2,900 meters. That's a huge upgrade over the older P35i which just up to 1,600 meters. There's also a cool new feature called the Adaptive Cruise Mode that changes brightness depending on the angle of the light. A gimmick or actually useful, I'll show you how it performs in real world use and compare it with normal LED lights like the MH40 Pro here, all right? So there's one big kicker though, the P40 costs around 340 USD. Quite a big investment for casual users, but it's essential if you work in search and rescue, law enforcement, hunting, marine patrol, anything that needs serious throw distance. So is this the best dual beam LEP light right now? Let's break it down. So before we get into it, I'm giving away this P40. So subscribe, drop a comment on what you use this light for. Once we hit 1000 likes, I'll pick a winner and reply directly to the comment. So quick LEP explanation for anyone new to this stuff. Normal flashlights uses LEDs. They make light directly. LEP uses a blue laser that hits a phosphor disc to create white light. Sounds complicated, but the result is simple. It's a crazy tight beam concentration like this. Can you see the far end compared with an LED light like this? You see? All right. Regular LED lights with a thousand lumens, maybe 400 meters max distance. This P40 does 2,900 meters with just 400 lumens from the LEP module. So it's all about concentration. Problem with early LEP lights were like expensive laser pointers. Great for spotting things very far away. Okay, like this, but useless for everything else because you couldn't see your feet. Most LEP lights today have some kind of flat beam built in, which is exactly what the P40 has, but they did it with incredible efficiency. Five tiny flat lights line the side of the bezel, so this stays out of the way of the main LEP beam, and that's how you get the monster beam distance. Look at how huge this lens is. The head diameter is 67mm, okay? It's same as the P35i, but look at how large it is compared to normal lights like the MH12 Pro here. Aluminum construction feels good, hard anodized finish with the same crisscross incredible grip texture from the MH12 Pro. I see the bezels and the X cuts here. Okay, this means it won't slip out of wet hands and it feels secure even if you have gloves on. The build quality is what you expect from Nightcore. Right, machining looks clean, threads are smooth, no obvious gaps or issues. The IP68 rating means it's completely waterproof. Right, That's important for all weather search and rescue use. It comes with a nice protective holster like this one here. Okay, dealing loop on top, belt loop at the back and it loads top down. Okay, so the bezel is always facing up when you draw it out of the holster. Okay, pretty chunky. So what changed from the older P35i? They took everything good about the P35i and cranked it up. So throw distance went from 1,650 meters to 2,900 meters. That's 75% further. Peak intensity jumped from 600,000 candela to over 2 million candela. The beam is three times as concentrated. Okay, can you see the P35i here and P40 here? Right. But here's what got me interested, the adaptive cruise mode. So this was used years ago in the Sense series. Here's how it works. The light automatically figures out what you're trying to light up based on the angle. So you tilt down to check something up close, and you tilt up and then it increases brightness to see something further. So you can see it in action, it dims down, you point up, it gets more and more powerful. So if I point it at that spot there, back down here, it dims so I can read whatever I'm trying to read. The P35i couldn't do that. You had to manually cycle through brightness every time you want to change what you're looking at. So for long operations, this feature extends the battery life and makes the light more pleasant to use on ground level. But if you're looking down at a tunnel or ravine, right, you're standing high up looking down, you have to turn off adaptive cruise mode because it's going to work against you. Now, I'm trying to look into a deep tunnel, right? It, it thinks I'm looking up close, so it dims the light down. Now, other trade off total output dropped from 3000 lumens flood to 2000 lumens. Less flood light for longer distance, which is fair. They removed the OLED screen as well, which is fine. Weight went up from 290 grams to 390 grams. Bigger optics needed thicker housing. Controls are pretty straightforward once you get the hang of it. The main power button is back on the tail here, which allows half press momentary signaling. Okay, so for the Navy guys, this is very useful on ships. Okay, it comes out of the box with a mixed beam like this. You can increase or lower brightness with either buttons here. To change beam patterns, press and hold the second button here at the bottom for it to cycle through the three beam modes. 
Okay, that's how it works. Once you hit the one you want, let go and it's set this way. The LEP beam, right, looks like a laser pointer on steroids. Tiny hotspot, zero spill. It's perfect for what's that little thing way over there. Now, flood beam gets you 800 lumens. Okay, there. This is pure flood. Lights up everything nearby, but only reaches about 145 meters. Now, mix mode, tight spot and big flood gets you 2,000 lumens in total. You get the laser hotspot and aerial lighting at the same time. So the workflow is quite simple. Set your preferred beam pattern, enable cruise mode and let the light do the thinking. Now if you want to lock it out, just twist the tail cap slightly and the light locks out. This prevents accidental activation. So how does this actually perform outside versus normal LED lights? Here's an interesting comparison. The MH40 Pro from Nightcore's own lineup. So this really shows the LEP advantage. Beam intensity tells the story. 400K candela for the MH40 Pro and over 2 million for this. P40 here. So you can see the difference here, right? And versus this. The further the distance, the more powerful the hotspot will be. So P40 much dimmer overall, but their hotspot cuts through like a laser. I can actually read the signs on the building. The concentration is quite nuts. So who actually needs this type of range? More people than you think. Search and rescue teams love LEP for spotting people. One guy told me he identified someone at 500 meters away, impossible with regular lights. Coast Guard uses them as well to check vessels at distances where normal beams just disappear. Law enforcement likes them for perimeter checks, right? You can scan rooftops, fence lines, covering huge areas with just a two-man team. You can also check high-rise buildings from the ground up. 20 story windows, no problems. You can then switch to flood mode when you need to search things up close range. There you go. Main thing is you're not carrying separate lights anymore. One tool does extreme distance and close up work. So how about other LEP lights on the market? The closest competitor is probably the Ace Beam W35 here. Right, look at the shape and size. Bezels are almost exactly the same. Now this does 800 lumens LEP hitting 2,600 meters with 1.69 million candela. The electronic zoom feature is genuinely useful. Look at that side switch lets you go from LEP spot to flat beam in just one hand. Next up is the Ace Beam M1, which puts out about 3,500 lumens from the LED and 700 lumens from the LEP. So about 4,200 total versus this P40's 2,000 lumens. The M1 has this cool rotating LEP head that lets you focus the beam, but even at minimum focus, it only hits 1,600 meters with about 600k candela. The P40 hits over 2 million. Here's another huge LEP advantage that people don't talk about enough, which is thermal efficiency. So let me show you something interesting. I've got both lights here at room temperature, the P40 LEP and MH40 Pro LED. Going to turn them on both on turbo at maximum output to see which one heats up faster. MH40 Pro is at a full 3,500 lumens. Now the heat gun will show the temperature on the screen as they climb. Watch this time lapse. So keep watching, the MH40 Pro is going to heat thermal step down first, automatically reducing brightness to prevent damage. The P40 can run longer at full power before needing to step down. So there it is, MH40 Pro steps down after just a few minutes of turbo. The P40 is still going strong at a full 2000 lumen. Mixed mode, so real world impact even when running both LED flood and LEP systems together, the P40 still has better thermal management than pure LED light. You get sustained performance without the aggressive heat build up. So if you need to light up a whole area, MH40 Pro wins with the 3000 lumens flood. If you need to identify specific targets at extreme distance, the LEP destroys LED performance. The included battery is removable, 21700 size, 5500 capacity, which is the second highest possible at the moment. You can upgrade this into a 6000 mAh capacity battery, which gets you even bigger runtime. Turbo gives you an hour at 2000 lumens. High mode gives you about 7 hours at 1500 lumens. Good for extended ops and medium hits about 12 hours. Low goes for 20 hours. So you can fast charge via USB-C port here. Okay, it's hidden here, waterproof. Zero to full in about two hours, 20 minutes. Now when the light is on, there is a battery indicator here as well, under the up and down buttons. Constant on like this means battery is above 50%. If it starts to slow blink, it means battery is below 50%. Fast blink means battery is below 10% and it's time to charge. So should you buy the P40? It depends on what you need it for. If you do search and rescue, law enforcement, hunting, marine patrol, anything needing serious throw distance, this is probably the best dual beam LEP right now. The adaptive brightness alone makes it worth upgrading from older LEP lights. Don't buy it for general use, it's overkill and expensive for normal flashlight stuff. 
This is specialized gear. So if you want a camping light or for around the house, just go with the MH12 Pro instead. This is for specific jobs that need extreme throw. Now for people who have been waiting for LEP tech to become actually practical, instead of just impressive, this is it. The dual beam setup finally makes LEP useful beyond just extreme distance spotting. Now the P40 shows where LEP technology is heading. Nightcore took what they learned from the P35i, fixed the biggest problems and added features nobody else has. Adaptive brightness, dual beam versatility, sets the bar for what these lights can do. These are all in stock now at nightcore.sg slash p40. Serious money, but for the right jobs, nothing else comes close. 60 day money back guarantee, 3 year warranty. All the link is in the description box below. So not sure if this fits your need, drop a comment with what you actually use these lights for and I'll point you in the right direction. So if you want more gear breakdown like this, subscribe and hit the bell. See you on the next one. I'm Jay signing out.